Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of... This is our life! Okay, so... I was looking at one of the Okinawa pages of... Yeah, I would join some Spanish pages, but I, I can't find any of those. But... I was thinking of stories and things, and... I want to show you... I don't know if you can see it. My wife can't see it. And I see it because I know it's there. Yes, you can't see it. Let me see if I can. No, oh, I guess you can't see it anymore. Anyway, I call it my Longhorn Scar. Um, wh why do I call it my Longhorn Scar? Because it has the shape of the head of a Longhorn steer and the long horns. Like it has the head of a you know cow and then it has the long horns. Well, how did I get that scar? I'll tell you. This is before we lived on Machinado. When we lived off base. We usually lived off base. You know, no matter where we lived, we lived like the locals. You know, we were local. We were never military. Thanks to my dad. You know, we always got to, you know, we spoke the languages, we ate the foods, we lived amongst, you know, the people of wherever we were living. And Okinawa was no exception to that. So, we lived off base. Our first two houses were off base, our last two were on base. We had to move on base because my father was told he had to move on base for security reasons. Okay, so, anyway. Um, we lived, there is, if you look at pictures from the officers club on Machinado, uh, what was it, Fort Buckner's Open Officers Mess, I believe. I used to have a, a mug that said F-Boom, F-B-L-O-M on it, Fort Buckner's Open Officers Mess. And we had a swimming pool over there, I took swimming lessons over there. Somebody nearby had a, the, the, what do you call it? The the part of a balloon that you you stand in when it's flying. You know, basket. basket. Thank you. A basket. My wife said basket. If you didn't hear, her. But they were over in that area. Anyway, if you at F Boom, if at the Officers Club, and you look, I believe due north, you know, there was this big ditch. This probably used to be a river or a creek or something, but it concreted. There was a walk bridge walkway over it and we weren't supposed to go in that neighborhood right there but on top of the hill over there that's where we live and there were these kids these two kids they, I guess they were brothers well the buzzer is beeping but it's just the enchiladas are setting settling or whatever um, we would um, me and my friends we I guess we thought they were rich or spoiled or something so um, we were sitting on top of the like retaining wall the road went down from where our neighborhood it went down and uh, they lived right where it the top like their backyard the backyard would have been the road would have been here on their backyard and the road would have been up here at the front of their backyard by their house and we were, I don't know if we were throwing things, I think we were throwing like bamboo at them and they started throwing the bamboo back at us well what happened a piece of bamboo hit me right right there and oh boy did it bleed and I have a scar there that you can barely see if you can even see it at all that uh, I got from that and um, we went we went to like everybody's house all my you know the, the house of all my friends and and my parents house you know like he's bleeding to death he's bleeding to death of course you need somebody you can't find anybody yeah we couldn't <laughs> find anybody and we weren't supposed <laughs> to go down in that neighborhood so that was the last place we went we go down there. They did, we were allowed to go to his house. He didn't live way, way down there, but he lived down there. And his mother put monkey blood. We used to call it monkey blood on there. And boy, does that stuff burn. 
Also, that hurts. Yeah. Also, I believe he had Flintstone vitamins on top of the refrigerator. I climbed up there and got them, and I ate like the whole bottle. So I got so, sick. <laughs> you yeah. about glowed in the dark, huh? Yeah, I got sick. So anyway, that's just another story from Okinawa. Thank you. Goodbye.